I want to say on the offset that I like comics that are, are you know, satires. I like um, satirical ads. You know, some of my favorite memories from Saturday Night Live back in the 70s, the Bassomatic, the, uh, the commercials they used to do. There were a lot of really funny ads, and I always thought those, those parodies were really, really good. So um, even though... Man Eaters, an image comic by Chelsea Kane, uh, is been panned, I think, by a lot of people. I did appreciate the the fake ads and kind of the immersion into this universe. So, how about an entire comic, a one shot for five dollars? Five dollars? Oh, hell no! Hey everybody, this is Perch. I am standing here with Tomorrow Belongs to You, a Maneater special edition. This is not a comic. Um, this is a, you know, the, the solicitations read this way. Don't believe the radical pro-feline and ma- media. Pantherism is real. Does your daughter exhibit cat-like behaviors? Does she engage in self-grooming? Does she try and go out at night? Is she impertinent? Ruminations is here to help. Page for our promotional catalog to find the ideal treatment solution. All right, so that's not what you're getting. So this comic is um, is basically kind of a, a apology packet, or maybe this is uh, how Chelsea Kane uh, kind of believes that the reparations would take place if there were ever reparations that went out to people. It would be done in kind of a magazine format. I'm not sure. Um, the artist and creator of the ads is uh, Leah Meiternik. Mar- I, I'm, I don't want to butcher that name. And, and I want to say on the offset, she's done a fine job with some nice uh, Photoshop and putting things together and kind of, you know, piecing all this together. It's, it's, a, it's a fine deal. And there's a lot of little tiny things that only a true anal retentive crazy person like me would notice. Like when the page folds, she's got the text folding with it. There's a lot of little pieces that she's doing that is, um, it's good. You know, the shading, this is good quality Photoshop work. So, uh, give, you know, hats off. Uh, she's doing a good job. But what is this comic? So this comic starts off, we've got some uh, $100 bills here. It's basically saying you've been awarded uh, $800 as part of a settlement package from uh, what I believe is Estrocorp. Is that is that who we have here? Uh, well, it's kind of the patriarchy um, as well. The, the problem is Estrocorp, yes, Global Enterprises. And, and basically it's an apology for... Estrocorp, as it was revealed in the Man Eaters comic, um, had been kind of saying that estrogen and homicidal rampages, i.e., panther women, um, was you know maybe not a real thing, and that they were selling a lot of products that were were not helpful uh, to anything um, that uh, you know that that fit into the categories of emotional distress, pain, suffering, false imprisonment, wrongful death, lost wages. Man Eaters as a comic is is very hard to explain, other than um, there was some some women, and they they did not turn into panthers. And then there was corgis involved, and uh, an evil corporation, and the patriarchy was mean. And then they 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 won in the end, and that that's what you got. So um, again, this comic has a non disclosure agreement. A lot of little things in here. It's like you know, it's it's definitely being told as if you know the the, the dudes are still in charge. It's the patriarchy, the first party, and the women who all these things are going to is the second party. This is a comic of reparations. So we've got a uh, an apology letter, and then we've got some coupons for Chardonnay and uh, cream corn, and um, uh, you know a, a very strange. Uh, th- <laughs> It's it's very hard. I mean, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, one hundred dollar bills. It's a nice touch, and then we've got some checks here, uh, some settlement checks from the Patriarchy Apology Fund, and they're using like a little icon of a, of a dude with a pipe that reminds me of the Church of Bob. That uh, all of like two of you will will know what I, the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, um, and then there's a little write up of a uh, you know woman who uh, did some things and. Um, you know, fought the patriarchy. The thing that made me laugh, um, there is a I, I genuine laugh is there's a section here where it's talking about uh, kind of an ad for an invitation for a television event where they're going to send women to the moon. They say uh, only 11% of history space explorers have been women. That's why we're immediately sending 10 women to the moon. And uh, they will, NASA will no longer require astronauts to take math or science. Women will be selected at random, receive one week of training by a certified NASA flight engineer. And then there's a little like, watch 10 women go to the moon. 
I don't know. That's hilarious. I don't, I don't know why, but that is this this whole thing is 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 quite funny. Um, but you know, and then there's some aromatherapy stuff, and there's you know, we couldn't go the whole issue without some you know uh, icons of tampons. So we got a menstruation VIP ad and more cream corn, and and uh, and then that's it. A little poem um, about uh, kind of it's a feminist poem, but it's hard to call. I mean, this has been described as a a feminist book, but it's hard to really take parody ads and, um, and a cat woman, uh, pantherism hoax as a, uh, as a feminine. I mean, the feminism, I, I, I get it. I'm mansplaining and I'm a dude and all the rest. So I don't understand, but I, I'm not sure. Like I've got two daughters and I think if I wanted to have them grow up to be strong, confident women and, um, you know, fight the patriarchy and, and stand their grounds, I do not think I would, I would, you know, man eaters is not what I would turn to as a, <laughs> as a message for the patriarchy. Um, I'm going to do a video here pretty soon about Chelsea Kane and how she went to war with the comic industry <laughs> and just burned all the bridges behind her. She is a fascinating person. I can't wrap my head around. Um, she is uh, very outspoken. She speaks her mind. She is, um, you know, written several novels. I mean, you know, non-comic, that's where, where she comes from. And uh, she was nominated for an Eisner and other things, but her comics are not, um, they have not been gang bucks busters, you should say. They, they, they have not been the biggest comics, yet she's a very big personality. And, and she's definitely, um, she's remembered. Like you, you go talk to people at Marvel and they, they know who she is. And so it's, it's just a, a fascinating personality. Um, and I mean, you know, we need something. I mean, back in the eighties and nineties, we got Alan Moore and we got all kinds of crazy people. So, you know, we need ourselves some good, bigger personalities. Um, Chelsea Kane is, uh, yeah, if, uh, there, there's a lot going on there. Anyway, this is man eaters. Tomorrow belongs to you. A comic that are fake ads in a reparations, uh, packet for pantherism. That's what you got. Um, Oh, uh, hey, what did you think? Do you read this comic? Have you ever read this comic? Or are you just confused right now? Leave me a comment below, like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and thanks for listening.